Uh, for some reason, MT4 is not working. Uh, if you guys find a way to get it to work, let me know. But uh, I might have to switch over to MT5 and send out the signals from there. So that won't be till later. But let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing for the Forex analysis. So US dollar did drop, major drop for US dollar for what has happened on Friday. Looking for US dollar to keep coming back down to 104. 4, and then looking for it to drop back down to break the 104.0 price right here. And that's all I got. Uh, we'll see if it actually breaks even further down back to 103 for this week. Indices. As far as for indices, we're buying all of them. Looking for Wall Street to hit 40,000 again. That'd be the main target, 40,000. Uh, so break it down every 100 points. So if Personally, for me, I break down every hundred points. So thirty nine thousand four hundred sixty nine, and then thirty nine thousand five sixty nine, and then thirty nine thousand six six nine, because we are at the price of thirty nine thousand three six nine. So, a lot of three six nine numbers here. All right, so uh, buying S and P five hundred. We're looking for S and P to hit uh fifty six hundred, and then we'll see if it shoots up even higher than fifty six hundred for this week. NASDAQ on a big move here, breaking above 20,000. So we are at 20,000, almost 20,400. So that'd be the first target. And then to break that up to 20,500. And then we'll see if it ends up breaking to 21,000. Very crazy to see how indices are going. Gold on the massive move back up. We want gold break this uh, resistance at 2,400. And then the next move will be to retest. Uh, what's the week? Retest at 24.49 will pretty much our run up to 20.50, 24.50. And then we'll see if it breaks up to 2,500 in value. Same thing with silver. Those that are buying silver, uh, we're going silver to hit $32 in value. And then we'll see how much more it's going to keep going up from there. So it's a massive move for silver here. UJ, looking for UJ to drop back below 160, back to 159. And then we'll see if this pair actually makes a reversal. If it does not, then it's going to have to just ride the wave back up again. Overall, this pair is still on an uptrend. So don't get too caught up on this. UK, we can just sell UK back down to break 136. Now there's a lot of support here at 136 on the weekly. If it does not break 136 below that, then just be well aware of the consolidation of where this. There's a lot, lot of consolidation between this price zone. So pay close attention to this pair. Okay, looking for u switch to break. We're going to be selling this pair back down to 80. Hold on. I don't want to sell it back down. Gee. First target, I'd be looking at 89. And then from there, we'll see if it breaks back down to 88. Okay. Euro looking for euro to break all the way up to 109, and then we'll see if it breaks to test the 110. That's all I got. Euro British pound looking for this pair to drop back to break 84. Like I said, it's been just sitting around here for a bit from 84 and 85, so pretty tight and narrow price range here. And uh, this is gonna consolidate here, there's not really a whole lot to work with, okay. So I wouldn't suggest working on this pair too much. All right, so let's look into the pound here. Looking for the pound to break this resistance at 120, 129. I'll just say, yeah, I'm going to round off to 29. To break 129 and to keep going to 130. Uh, if it does not break above 129 and it doesn't keep going, then I'm going to end up selling it back down. Australia, looking for the Australian dollar to keep going back up to 68. That's first move. And then we'll see if it goes above 68 from there. And then for New Zealand dollar, we're buying New Zealand dollar now. Obviously, it closed at the same resistance price. So this pair has just been off tangent so much. This is like not, not the greatest pair to work with uh, for this summer. 
And so this summer season of trading, most pairs are just like consolidating the same price zone. And then some are some are uh, going pretty good. Uh, so uh, looking for New Zealand to hit 62. If it does not break above 62, I'm just going to sell it back down. Uh, that's all I'd be looking at. Because like I said, there's so much resistance right here on the weekly. Other than that, um, Fed Powell, Fed Chair Powell was speaking. New Zealand got their rate statement Tuesday. Um, French Parliament elections, they've been happening uh, for this whole week. What else we got? Fed Chair Powell speaking on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, Yellen speaking on... Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, and that's CPI data on Thursday morning. GDP for the pound. Another set of CPI needs for Friday to finish it off. So that's pretty much it. So I don't really see a whole lot. I'm just waiting for Medicare 4 to get this thing up and going. So yeah, if you guys have... Find a way to fix this and let me know. But like I said, I probably want to switch over to MT5. Switch the send out signals later on. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys in the Telegram chat group. I got a busy day today. Peace out. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, crypto analysis here for you guys. Uh, for some reason, MetaTrader 4 is not working. So hoping that MetaTrader 4 app gets back up and running. So... That is the issue right now. If you guys are not having any issues on MT4, let me know. I might have to switch over to MT5 and just get the, uh, get everything else switched out for there. But I'll let you guys know once I get everything figured out from here. So still holding my selling positions from the weekend, uh, also from since Friday. And looking for Bitcoin to come back down to 55000 Uh, That's my next target. And then we'll see if it ends up breaking this first support first at 50, what is it, 56, 56, 56, 6, I think it is. Yeah. Breaking this daily support at 56, 7. That'll be the next target here. Selling Ethereum, looking for Ethereum to drop even more, break support at 2,800. That would be the next move here. It's already dropping pretty nice over the weekend. Um, like I said, I'm still holding on to the solid positions. So just bear with me once we get figured. Once I figure things out with MT4 or MT4 doesn't work out, then I'm going to switch over to MT5. So that is the other case as well. Uh, let's see your Litecoin. Looking for Litecoin to drop back to $60 in value. And I think that's all I'll be shooting for. The bottom... Well, it's 56 here on the wick here. Let's see. She will going to come right back down to retest um, the support at 14.58. And then the, the final move would be could you come down to 12.69 back down here at the wick, at the can of wick. All right. So let's talk about Dogecoin. Look at Dogecoin drop back to 10 cents in value and break below 10 cents back to 9 cents. And then Ripple. Looking for Ripple to come back down to 42 cents and then break back down to break back down 38 cents. Neo looking for Neo to come down to nine dollars in value and break below nine back to eight dollars and sixty cents here in value. Let's be the next move here. Dash looking for dash. Just outline the wick at the very bottom. So looking for dash hit twenty dollars in value and then come breaking twenty dollars back down to the wick of nineteen thirty four. Solana looking for Solana come break this daily support at a hundred and I believe 128, 127. And then from there we'll see if it goes down further back to 120. Zcash, looking for Zcash coming back down to 18 off this daily support here. And then the next one would be the wick of $15.88. And finally, we have Tezos, Tezos. Looking for Tezos come back down at 70 cents in value and then break 70 cents back down to 60 cents in value. So 
So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, hopefully, we can get this thing going. Uh, probably won't be able to send out anything until I get MT4 up. If not, then I'm just going to switch over to MT5 and, and set up a different account here. Other than that, like I said, if you guys have any questions in regards to the analysis or the signals, or if you guys have MT4 that's working, let me know in the chat group. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.